Hey everyone, Marianne Houck here. Um, okay, so I'm on video, oh my gosh, what am I on, 18 I think? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I can't believe it's been 18 days already. Um, anyway, so I know I'm supposed to post a video with, uh, you know, some value and something for everybody, and I was planning on that tonight. Um, actually, I was going to do a training, and I wasn't even going to be on the video, but um, I can't help it, but I have to do this um, another totally off topic here because today uh, I was at school picking up my kids well my my daughter and my son stayed at extended care but um and my mom called it was like three o'clock and she calls and says um I just got the mail and the Willow Glen resident um little newspaper that comes out of where she lives in Willow Glen like down the street from me she said and guess who was on the cover and at first thought the first thing I thought of was the cake competition last week that my daughter Jordan was in. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos up until now, um, the couple weeks ago, I posted a, uh, at least two in a row, I think, about a cake competition for an organization I work for called Cake for Kids. And we make birthday cakes for foster kids and at-risk at youth um, in the Bay Area. And I've been doing it for a couple years, and they have an annual cake off. Um, that's a, the biggest fundraiser for the organization. And Jordan entered last year, and she didn't win, but so but she had such a great time that we entered her, her uh, again this year. So um, it, there was all this stuff going on beforehand. We almost didn't do it because they kept switching the category she was supposed to be in. Um, I signed her up for Made for Kids or Made by Kids, and then they said that was full, so they switched her to the Ultimate Chocolate. And I did a whole video about this, actually, because she was really stressed out about it. She didn't know what to do, and she almost said, no, forget it, let's go, um, let's, um, you know, it's too much trouble for everybody, I don't want to do it. She was really upset, and, you know, we had good, some good talks about it, and I said, it's totally up to you, but I'm not stressed, or we'll, you know, just do the best we can. It's supposed to be a fun event. Um, you go and you taste 50 cakes if you want to. I don't. I think I had two, uh, two bites. My son had probably six or seven different cakes, but, like, little bites of them not the whole thing, um, but so she finally decided to, that she was going to do it in the ultimate chocolate category. Well then, a few days before the actual competition, they had somebody drop out of the made by kids category, so they, she, oh no, sorry, my nose itches, so the head of the thing emailed me and, and asked if Jordan wanted the spot, let me know ASAP, because there'd be other people on the waiting list. So we talked again about that, and she went back and forth and wasn't sure because, you know, and then she was already set on doing the chocolate category. So anyway, we ended up going to the Made by Kids. So it was last uh, Saturday night, actually. And so my mom calls and says, oh, look at, you know, so she, when she says she found something or she had taken out her Willow Glen resident paper and said, guess who's on the cover? I, the fir I didn't know what she was talking about. The first thing I thought of was what else would it be, right? So... Here it is. I think it's going to be backwards. Sorry. I don't know how to flip the camera to go, my iPhone, to go the other way. There's no button or anything on there um, to flip the camera the other way. So it's going to be backwards, but I'll post a picture of it anyway, so most of you guys will see it anyway. But so here it is. Let's see. I got my stick thing here. Let's see if I can hold it out far enough. So she's on the cover of the Willow Glen resident with Peaches the Penguin. That's the topper on her cake, plus that's her big stuffed animal that was the inspiration for the actual cake that she did. And my son actually made the penguin mold out of fondant that you see right there on the cake. Um, but she made the chocolate cake with, and it was stuffed with chocolate chip cookie dough. So it was an awesome cake. Um, and then it was, you know, she did the icing, the blue color she wanted, the, um, that's scratch buttercream, everything is scratch. The cake, the cookie dough, the icing, everything. Um, so I was floored and I was like, oh my God, you're kidding me. I mean, she got the cover. She took second place in the made by kids category, which was awesome enough. And then to get this, I mean, it was amazing. And then I just got home and I saw, cause I went around downtown Willow Glen looking for more copies. And, um, I finally went up and down the streets and I finally found, um, a bunch of them at CVS down there. So I took them all. <laughs> Sorry, but I need more copies. Um, and then I just got on Facebook for a minute when I got home from dinner, and um, a friend of mine from high school 
uh, posted, she lives in Almaden, which is about 15 minutes from me, and she has the Almaden paper, and she posted the picture, and it goes, hey, look what I found on my doorstep today, and it was so funny, because so now it's already on Facebook um, for the Almaden paper, but anyway, I just, this whole week has been funny, because everybody's talking about kids, and and everything on face in our Facebook group and our Internet Lifestyle Network with uh, Mark doing that minute with Mark, and he did a, a minute video with uh, his son um, Isaac at the gun range yesterday, or was that today? I don't I don't remember now. Uh, I think it was yesterday. But um, and he has a group of young people that he's mentoring, and his kids, uh, my kids, actually have sold stuff on Fiverr. Um, so I'm really, and he was talking about should we integrate our kids in our business and so forth, and, and I wholeheartedly say yes. Um, my kids are involved in my business. My daughter reminds me every day to make my video, and every day uh, she'll come home, did you do your video today? What was it about? You know, so I'll have to tell her, and then she'll watch them on YouTube and whatever. So, um, so yeah, I just, I mean, I think this is awesome. I don't even, you know... We weren't expecting this. I did there, there were reporters there, and they were asking a bunch of questions and taking a lot of pictures and stuff, but I had no idea that she was going to make the cover. And there's a really nice um, article about the whole fundraiser on page 14 um, that mentions me, actually, and as her mom. And, um, and they actually spelled my name right, which is amazing. Um, it's usually two words. But, um, and it talks about her and why we did the, the um, cake off and everything else. And it, you know, tells all the other winners and stuff. But for her to get the, the they must have really loved the Penguin because for her to get the cover, that's amazing. So I'm so proud of her that I had to do this video tonight. And she's going to love it when she sees it. She's actually at her dad's this weekend. But um, when she comes home on uh, Monday, um, she will see this video. And um, she's going to love it because she likes being on the video. And she ran around school today showing everybody she can get her hands on this paper, and they were like, oh my god, no, no, there's no way, our little friends were all, what, you're on the cover of a paper, and it was so cute, so she was so excited that she couldn't even contain herself, basically, um, so anyway, that was my story for tonight, sorry I had to make this, I just, you know, I couldn't contain myself either, apparently, um, so I hope everybody had a great day, and is having a good night, and, uh, we will talk soon, thanks, bye.